let's deploy out a Netlify CMS website. The first thing you're probably thinking is, isn't Netlify the static hosting company? The answer is yes, and they also created this cool CMS that you could use for your static websites. And you're also probably thinking, well, do I need a Netlify account or how does that work using the Netlify CMS on my own VPS servers? Well, the long and short of it is that yes, Netlify CMS does natively work really well with Netlify hosting, but they also grant us the opportunity to use Netlify CMS on our own self-hosted servers with just a little bit of extra work. And really that's gonna involve creating our own OAuth application. Okay, so let's get going. If I click on this third tab I have open up here, uh, this is a list of examples of Netlify CMS websites that are on GitHub or in other repositories. And for this example, I looked at the Bell one. Uh, what really spoke to me was, hey, you know, it's using Nuxt and that's awesome. I wanna use that as well. If you click on Bell right here, we'll see a preview of that site. So this is what the insight is gonna look like on the front end. And if I click back on this tab right here, I will see the GitHub repository is right here. And what we're going to do for this example is clone the GitHub repository because we're going to make a couple changes to a file and you need to be an owner of that repo in order to make those changes. So I've already cloned this repository and I have it under my GitHub account. And we could see mine right here under my username armguitar bell template. All right, we're going to come back to this and we're going to make an update to one of the files on it. But first, let's go back to Cleaver and create a new site. Okay, so back in Cleaver, I already have a server provision. I'm gonna click into that server. And the first thing I'm gonna do is add a new site and I'm gonna make it a Node.js SSR website. And then I'm just gonna use a temporary domain and then click on add. Essentially what we're gonna use this site right here is I mentioned that we need to have our own authenticator app. So our first step is to create this authentication app. Okay, we see this site has been added and we have the URL right here. I'm gonna click on the copy to clipboard icon to capture this URL. And this is gonna be, again, the URL for our authentication application. And with that URL, let's go back to GitHub. And what we need to update in this project is the config.yml file. So we're gonna find that. And in this particular project, we'll find it under static, and then admin, and then config.yml. So this location might be different depending on how you set up your project or if you're using a different example project. But for us, this is where it's located. So let's go ahead and click on the config file and we'll click on the edit icon. And what we're gonna edit is this backend information. As you can see, I've already filled out this information. I used this in a different example before this video. So now all I really need to change is the base URL. And that is gonna be the base URL for this OAuth application that I copied in Cleaver and I'm gonna paste that in there. And just to cover what we see here, for name we have GitHub. You could also put GitLab in here as well. The open source project that we're gonna to use to authenticate is also compatible with GitLab, but for this example, we're using GitHub. And then the repo is gonna be the repo for this project I'm currently in. So we can see arm guitar forward slash bell template. And then my branch is master. And again, I just pasted the URL for the actual authenticator app URL and pasted it in there. This is all we needed to do in the config.yaml file. So let's go down and commit our changes. Since we're already in GitHub, let's go ahead and create an OAuth app in GitHub. To do that, click on your avatar on the top right and then click on settings. And then scroll down a bit and click on developer settings. And then click on OAuth apps. I already have a Netlify CMS auth right here. This is a previous app that I used, but let's go ahead and go through the steps of creating a new one, and we'll use that one in this example. So click on new OAuth app, and then you can call this whatever you want. Let's call it my OAuth app. And the homepage URL is gonna be that same URL that I used before. I'm gonna paste that in right there. And then you could add in a description, and then put in your authorization callback URL, which is that same URL with callback appended to the end. And then we're gonna register this application. Once it's registered, we'll wanna take note of the client ID, which is this value right here. So I'm gonna copy this client ID and save it for later. And we'll also need to create a new secret. So let's click on generate a new client secret and then copy this value and we'll save this for later as well. 
Okay, so we're done in GitHub, so I'm just gonna close out this tab and then go back to Cleaver. Now back in Cleaver and in that server that I've already provisioned, I'm gonna add a new site for a Nux static site. And because this particular example that we're using is a Nux static site, I'm gonna select that option and then create that. If you're using a, a different node static type, just click on the Node.js static app type and then you'll be good to go from there. Okay, so I have these two sites created. One is for our OAuth app and the other one is for our actual application. Let's navigate over to the web app section. And we see the two web apps here. Let's first configure our OAuth app and then deploy that out. I'm gonna click into it and then go to the settings section and then click on code repository and then click on my GitHub profile. Then we'll paste in the repository. So this project I'm using is an open source project. It's under this user and this repo right here. Okay, let's go ahead and update this tab and then move on to the build tab. And in the build tab, we're gonna change out the entry point. It's not index.js, it's app.js. And there's also a couple of variables that we wanna add into the PM2 ecosystem area under the EMV section. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste this after the port and node env will leave as production. Origin is my main site, which is this site that we're in right here. So I'm gonna replace this with my site's URL. And then you can see OAuth client ID and the client secret. This is the ID and the secret that we created in GitHub. So we'll paste the ID in here and then paste the client secret in. All right, so this looks good. Let's click on update and then move on to the deployment hook section. In the deployment hook section, we don't need to build anything for this particular project. So let's go ahead and disable it. And then go to deployments and then deploy it out. Okay, it looks like it's been deployed. Let's visit the site and just make sure everything's there. All right, this is what we expect to see on this particular screen. And I'm gonna click on login with GitHub just to verify that's looking good. And it does. All right, so I'm gonna X out of this tab go back to Cleaver, back to the web app section, and now let's work on deploying out that main site. We'll click into this Nux static site, and then click on configure, and then go to the code repository tab, and again, select your GitHub profile, which is where I have my project. And I'll put in my repository location, and branch to deploy as master, and update to save that out. All right, cool. This is all we really need to do. So let's go ahead over to deployments and deploy it out. Okay, looks like the app deployed and we're getting some ping results back in and looks like we're getting to 200, which is good. All right, let's go ahead and visit the site. Cool, this is what we expect to see. And then of course, if we go to the URL and then append admin at the very end, we should see the OAuth area. Okay, cool. So now we see login with GitHub. This is gonna go to the app that we created and it opened up the screen right here and I'll authorize this app and it bounces back. And then look at that, opens up the backend CMS. And one thing that would make this integration all the more sweet is if we go back to Cleaver and then go into the web app and then in settings, if you click on code repository, you have the option to push to deploy. We'll go ahead and update that. But you also have the option to enable GitHub Actions. If you have either push to deploy enabled or GitHub Actions enabled, uh, let's see what happens when we go in here and then just edit this, to edit at the very end, and then publish it. We'll see that this is saved out. And if we go back to Cleaver and then into deployments, we'll see that queued up a new deployment and then that's gonna deploy out those changes. And this is how you could go ahead and deploy out your own Netlify CMS on your self-hosted server.